What's up, YouTube? Agent Zero here, and today I'm going to be going over my Hunter Night Stalker Crimson Days build. So first, I'll go over the setup, then I'll get into some of my decisions while we're looking at the gameplay. So first, the grenade, the Vortex Grenade. A grenade that creates a vortex which continually damages enemies trapped inside. I have the Marksman's Dodge, performs the dodge, automatically reloads your weapon, and my jump, triple jump, pick whichever you want, it does not affect the build. And I have Way of the Trapper equipped. For my primary, the Mida Multi-Tool Scout Rifle, boost move speed, radar stays active while aiming down the sight. Everyone knows what the Mida is at this point. The Martyrs Make Auto Rifle in the Energy Slot, rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. And in my Power Weapon, I'm going with the Shock and Awe Fusion Rifle. And finally, for the exotic armor, I am going with the Faux Tracer Helmet. Visually marks target enemies, deals more damage to low health marked enemies. And I'm a hunter, I prefer that mobility. You can choose whichever you like, resilience or recovery. I have it split right now. So let's get into some gameplay, explain some of my decisions and why. First, I want to talk about why Way of the Trapper. Well, in Crimson Days, it's 2v2. So you want to have a way to kind of funnel those two enemies into areas that you want them to be or prevent them from going where you don't want those enemies to go. Way of the Trapper gives you the smoke grenade, which can definitely stop those enemies from going certain areas combined with the vortex grenade really helps you control the battlefield well on top of that you're going to be able to prevent those enemies from getting the highly coveted heavy ammo that both teams are going to be looking to get so that's definitely one reason why i choose way of the trapper on top of way of the trapper we also have just the one shadow shot but it has extended range. In 2v2, in Crimson Days, you're encouraged to stay by your teammate. So you're going to be facing a lot of enemies that are pretty close together. So that extended range on your Shadow Shot should probably be able to hit both of them. And if they aren't that close together, most likely they're not getting the added bonuses of being close together. So it's a win-win either way but you will be able to stop at least one enemy from killing you with a super because you have that one shadow shot you can easily end your opponent's super. I think the Mida is pretty obvious you get to have that radar active when you're aiming down the site which is always big you don't want enemies to sneak up on you. Foe Tracer it's another very good PvP equipment piece of armor where you can track enemies that you are shooting at so you get the advantage there i think some people are gonna ask though why martyrs make you have so many other good auto rifles in that energy slot category why are we choosing martyrs make for the auto rifle of choice as opposed to some of them well it is 2v2 and for martyrs make the lower the magazine goes, the more damage you're doing. There's going to be a lot of times where you're not going to have that opportunity to reload because you're getting into a gun battle with those two enemies. Now it's always, or most of the time, going to be a 2v2 gun battle. But as your clip is going down, you're going to do more damage to your first target and then your second target. That's why I recommend Martyrs Make. I think it's definitely set up for this. But that's just my opinion. There are many good energy auto rifles that you could go with, but I prefer Martyrs Make for this scenario. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. Well, until next time, peace!